Prophet ﷺ told us that there are minor signs and there are major signs. Now, the minor signs, some of the scholars told us that all of them came to pass. We have witnessed all of the minor signs. Now, the concern of this presentation is about some of the 10 major signs of the approach of the hour. Five of those 10 seem to be cosmic in nature, that they are related to certain happenings that are related to the cosmos, certain universal happenings that will take place that will tell us that the hour is approaching. And one of them is that the sun will appear from the west instead of the east. We have known that for years and years and years. And we were told that the sun will appear from the west as a sign that the hour is approaching. Now, again, I remind myself and I remind my sisters and brothers that whatever I will mention from science that people really put as, as, as the, the absolute truth when we know it is not. But what we know from science is the following. What is happening is that the earth has been rotating around its axis since the creation of the universe. In the beginning, our earth used to complete one complete circle around its axis in four hours. It used to be very fast and it has been slowing down since then. Now it completes one rotation around its axis in 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4 seconds. And scientists know that the speed is going to diminish. The earth is going to slow down up to a point where it will not be able to support any more decrease in its speed. When that will happen, the earth will behave like a spring that you rotate in a certain direction up to a certain point when you cannot really wind it any further in that direction. Then if you leave it, what will happen? It will start to rotate in the opposite direction and the earth is going to do that. That's what scientists tell us that the earth is going to slow and slow and slow up to a point where it cannot because of its mass slow any further then it will stop briefly and will start to rotate in a clockwise fashion. And guess what will happen when that takes place? The sun will appear from the west. And the hadith related through the authority of Hudayf ibn al-Yaman from Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about this is very clear. When the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said that when the hour approaches, two nights will join each other and the people will wake up from the first night to see that the night is not over yet. And they will be terrified and they will be scared and they will find that the sun did not come out. And another night came and then two nights will appear in a row. And then after that, the sun will appear again, but this time it will come from the west instead of the east. When that sign is seen, everybody will believe. SubhanAllah, even after the Jad and Isa comes down, there are still going to be people who don't believe. They will believe. When they see the sun coming from the west, they will say, we believe, we believe. But we see after you've seen reality. Where were you before? When the sun comes out of the west, who are you going to resort to? The righteous believers and the pious believers who wake up for tahajjud and pray the night for prayers, one of them will wake up at that night and pray to Allah. And he prays his usual prayers. He reads his juzo, his half a juzo, his two juzo, his three juzo. And then he gets to sleep. Usually, he reads his juzo, gets to sleep, wakes up for fajr. But this time, he'll read his juzo, he'll read what he usually reads, 
gets to sleep, wakes up, he realizes the night is still long. So he prays to Allah again. And yet Fajr has not even entered. And then he sleeps again. Wakes up, thinks that Fajr is coming, about to enter. Prays again to Allah Azza wa Jal, sleeps again. Wakes up, he's still not Fajr. So he realizes something there. اقْتَرَبَ لِلنَّاسِ حِسَابُهُمْ وَهُمْ فِي غَفْلَةٍ مُعْرِضُونَ اقْتَرَبَ لِلنَّاسِ حِسَابُهُمْ وَهُمْ فِي غَفْلَةٍ مُعْرِضُونَ Jews here to mankind is their reckoning, is their destruction, yet they turn away in heedlessness.